What's going on, family? It's your boy, Big Vic. Welcome back to my Black Universe. So, it is Black History Month, and I feel like I would do my fans, my subscribers, the people who support me, a disservice if I didn't talk about something I think is a, or some company that I think is rather deceptive in their language. Now, this is a rant. This is my opinion. So, uh, these aren't facts per se. But um, I did want to get this and, and do this before this month got over, before it got too long uh, into the month. So so let's talk about this company called Melanin Fool. Now, Melanin Fool, at first glance, it looks like a black owned company. You know, we got the colors, we got the RGB, we got the African inspired colors. We got a lot of stuff that looks like it represents the history and the culture very well. And you know, that's cool that's super cool i like it. i've even purchased from them uh, i had a youtube video but i made that youtube video unlisted and i did it rather quickly uh and the reason why is because one of my subscribers was like hey that's not a black owned company so i did a minor research you know i was being pretty lazy and i checked it out and i was like oh this is, looks like it's an asian company passing itself off as a black owned company and the reason why I got that is when you scroll down all the way to the bottom to the about us section when you read the statement it's, it's kind of a weird statement so I want you to look at it and, and go to go through it with me we are a group of designers who are highly interested in black culture and history that statement right there is kind of weird to me because I would think if this is a black owned company would state we are a group of designers who are highly interested in our culture and our history not black culture and black history if you're black owned I feel like that's more so of an outside entity speaking in and they might have missed that you know or it could have been a typo but it's been up here for a while at least for the three years they said they've been around if you look at the next sentence we have been designing and selling melanin full apparel, home decor, and accessories for more than three years. Our mission is to help our people to have a means of expressing their black pride through our products. Now they're saying, oh, they're taking ownership. So I, I find that really weird, right? I find that really weird. And that's something that kind of threw me in. So, you know, I did a little bit digging and I went down and I saw this right here. Where it's like with your customer support and marketing is in Vietnam and and I understand you know small companies you know you got to find a way to mitigate cost but I figured it'd be the owners you would talk to you know they're not necessarily at a point where they could hire even uh even a, a Asian company that's a, not an Asian company but an Asian country that's not as uh financially suited as the United States I would still think they would keep it in house, you know, try to mitigate as much cost, not want to outsource. So, you know, that's not necessarily too big of a big deal. But I was like, well, let me do some more digging. And if you go to right here where it says 200 Continental Drive Suite 41 Room 411, and you put that in, you get bam, right here. You get Regis, Delaware, Newark, Christiana, Christiana Corp. Right, you go down here, you see the address, the same address, 200 Continental Drive, Christiana, Suite 401, Newark, Delaware. That's the zip code. So I was like, okay, well, let me see what is going on with this right here. When you go to the website, you find out this is a typical office building where you can have an office space, co working spaces virtual offices meeting rooms so that's, that's nothing you know not too out of the ordinary you know i own a small business my black universe entertainment llc and um i don't want my personal address being the address when people you know want to send me things or they want to uh ship, ship something back let's say i i, I try to ship out us uh, a giveaway item to them and it doesn't get there and it comes back i want to go to a virtual address so i understand this that's actually very smart that's good business practice right but then, let's close this. You go back here and you go to help and more and then to contact us. Then it becomes a little bit more concerning, right? So first thing I did was I went to support at melaninfull.net and I emailed them, right? 
let's go to my email I emailed him for my, my general email bearded brother email and if you go in fact let's even go down let's just let's just find it right support the net. you see I emailed this person two days ago Monday February 7th 9.31 p.m. I got a response when I asked this question right here I have a couple of questions is this a black owned company and if so who are the owners right because I believe in transparency got the quick response probably a uh, one of those quick responses that's set up that you can have set up like on Facebook Messenger where automatically you, you send a message it, it sends a response back and then you can kind of you know navigate your way around but it's a hi bearded brother thank you for contacting us thank you for contacting us we are a group of designers who are highly interested in black culture and history okay we have been designing and selling for more than 2.5 years 2.5 years and 3 years are two different things right 6 months is a considerable amount of time right so I didn't get the response to the second question I was like well let me let me ask again who are the owners the response I get an hour later this time hi thank you for getting back weird sentence structure we are a group of designers gathered from various backgrounds and most of us are black okay personal information is confidential we have been doing this we've been doing we have been doing in this business oh I didn't know said the first time I read that hmm now we know it's typical of, of either somebody rushing which they responded an hour later or someone who's not a native speaker of the language right we have been doing in this business for more than three years striving towards the vision of supporting and promoting the beauty of black culture should there be anything else I can help with you, help you with please let me know have a blessed night All right, it says to shard melanin for now like I said I, I have my concerns I honestly still don't believe it's a black owned company now you know I get it. if you are a company that sees a niche in the black community which a lot of people see a lot of other groups see and they take advantage of uh, take advantage of cool but move from that angle if you're a truly black owned company and i think there's something that we as a people need to demand is that we need to see transparency we need to know that who you are because the last thing we want to do is start thinking that we are taking our money and we are uh placing it back in our community our communities and circling around and letting our dollar rotate and keep going in our communities and it's actually not it's it looks like it. it's a front and we, we're just trying to figure out why we're not getting anywhere we're spending more with black owned companies why it's not getting anywhere because we got companies that look like they're black owned that aren't um there's a sister who did a um she did eight companies that you thought were black owned and she placed melanin full on there uh she didn't really go in depth on that one because she did eight of them in kind of like a uh I won't say a montage, but she did them kind of like in succession. But she also did a one company that uh, was on IG pretty heavy. I'm gonna throw both videos in the link in the, both video links in the description, so you can check them out and see what I'm talking about. We have to do the legwork, all right. So, like I said, I don't know because I I can't place a face. But it's really hard for me to believe this is a black owned company based on some of the things I'm seeing, the sentence structure and things like that. So, um. If you come back to their website or it's on the contact us and you go right here, Melanin Full, company name Hangzhou. And I probably butchering it, hopefully I'm not. But Hangzhou Miku Electronic Commerce Co. Limited, right? Same address. So it's like, wait a minute. Now I know there are black people in Asian countries, right? And there are mixed black people, right? They're, you know, half Japanese, half Chinese. I get it. So I can't count that out, but it, this looks real fishy. So we take this, paste and search, takes you to LinkedIn, right? There's other, you know, crunch base right here, which is where they raise their money, and I'll show you where they, they state that. If 
you go to LinkedIn. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, they took, oh, uh, okay. Because I was looking, I was like, wait a minute. I didn't see it last time. So, now that I'm signed in. Eleven to fifty employees. We learned something new together, people. Let's go. Where they live, where they studied, what they studied. Hmm. Business administration and management, sales, business. Yo, I didn't see all this last time. And the 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 three pictures that you saw up there. If we sign out. Nah, let's just sign up. And let's do it again. Uh, I'm like a chicken with my head cut off. Let's go back. I don't know what it is calling me. I don't want to talk to you. Let's see if we can. Let me scroll. I zoom in? I cannot zoom in. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Now it says it's a company. When we logged in, we say it, it says it's a company with 11 to 50 employees. And it's only showing three of them. So, you know, that's not conclusive. But like I said, it doesn't look it doesn't look right right you know if it don't look right it just don't look right and so for me that's why i don't believe this is a black owned company now if you want to buy from them that's cool right they got some cool looking stuff I, I give it to them they got some cool looking stuff on here but if you're buying under the auspice that this is a black owned company you may be giving your dollar to another group all right now if you do want to support a black owned company one i know for sure is black owned check out melanin apparel which is not to be confused with melanin for i've had somebody confuse these two before they're not the same company melanin apparel look at, lord have mercy look at look at it melanin apparel you can follow them on ig uh, i think they do go live from time to time so you can see you know the, the owners and stuff like that which is super dope you know what I'm saying there's born fly there's uh uh Rock Deep Global, Garner's Garden, Opulence by Jay. You got Ade U Designs. These are black owned companies with black owners that you can actually see. You can see them using their products, wearing their products, uh, whether it's apparel or, you know, body butters and stuff like that. So let's make a conscious effort this month, not just be giving our money to a group or to any company that looks black owned. Let's do our due diligence, right? You know what I'm saying that's come from me that I had to do that so um, I'll post a link to the video that I uh, was going to do it's still on on my it's in my uh, library but it's unlisted so if you want to check that out you can so you can see what I was going to do I thought it was cool so I found out they say this might not be what it is and you know with me doing this on for my personal opinion in my uh, in my mind I don't believe let me because I don't want y'all to confuse the two I don't believe Melanin Fool is black owned at all. Know what I mean, so with that being said, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace and black empowerment. Happy Black History Month.